Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. Passed away Makartich Gazanchan, member of Asala. The Federation of Dersim Association called for an end of the animal hunt. U.S. Senate has voted against the withdrawal of troops from Syria. Gorikos, fortified city of Cilician, Armenia. Artsakh hosts European Football Cup of 2019. On 1st of February was published the 8th issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of the Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically on the beginning of each month. In the near future will be published the Turkish and English versions of the newspaper. On February 3, at the age of 63, passed away one of the members of Asalam Makartish Kazanchan. He was one of the members of Armenian Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia, who has made a contribution to the armed struggle of organization. At the end of 70s, he was close companion and comrade in arms of Pierre Gulumian. He was always adhered to his principles and beliefs and the idea of liberation of the Armenian occupied territories. Rest in peace, fearless friend, always devoted to the noble idea and work. The Federation of Dersim Associations has organized a protest against new reservoirs and hydropower plants constructed in Dersim, the deforestation, as well as against the hunt of wild animals. During the protest, people were complaining against hunters' free access. In winter, the hunters are killing last animals saved from forest fires. Villagers do not have an access to the woods, and the hunters are taking the opportunities. They even appeared in areas that were banned, and then they killed the mountain goats that were considered sacred among the locals. According to the European Convention for the Protection of the Wildlife and the Environment, animals which are on the verge of extinction must be protected. In this context, Shemios should also be protected, in spite of the fact that they are considered to be special types which must always be under protection, a legal quota has been determined for these species. The Senate voted against the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Syria, breaking with President Donald Trump as he calls for a military drawdown in those areas. The senators voted against the law proposed by the president with 26 against voices. They believed that the rapid withdrawal of troops would increase the influence of Russia and Iran in Syria. However, the head of the White House is convinced that U.S. troops do not have anything to do at the moment in Syria. Certain military units will also be withdrawn from Afghanistan, but the number of troops in Iraqi will remain unchanged, and President Trump mentions that the troops may be resettled at any time. The city of Gorikos was established in 3rd century BC. At the 2nd century BC, it was a center of piracy. It was occupied by Arab and Byzantine people and since 11th century became the part of Cilician Armenia. During the reign of Taurus II, Gorikos joined Cilician Armenia. In 1206, Levon II completed the reconstruction of Gorikos. In 1219, after the death of Levon II, Vahram, the governor of Gorikos, tried to capture the Armenian throne. They had to meet guard executed him and handed Gorikos to his brother Oshin. After that, Gorikos was living a flourishing period, but in 1320s, Egyptian Mamluks were attacking regularly. Until the 17th century, Gorikos remained the Armenian bishopric center. However, under the influence of Turkish persecutions and violence, the number of Armenian population gradually reduced. The city had two strong fortresses, which had four big reservoirs, wells, and a church with ornamented columns. On the walls of the central palace of the city were made different mansions with the names of Levon II and Hatun I kings. The historian Hatun was also born in Gorikos. In an interview with Artsakh Press, head of the Sport Department of Artsakh Ministry of Education, Science and Sport, Narine Agabalyan, said that during the conference held in Krakow, several countries made presentations to join the Kanifa family. As a result of draw, 12 teams, which are divided into four groups, will compete at the European Football Cup of 2019. The official opening ceremony will be held on 1st of June, and the first game will take place on the 2nd of June. Different works are being 
being carried out for holding the opening ceremony at a higher level. The final match will take place on June 9. In the near future, we will be published the complete information about the schedule of matches, hotels, restaurants and transports in Artsakh. For the first time in the history of Kanifa, it is planned to hold football matches in four different stadiums. The reconstruction of stadiums has already begun in Askeran, Martuni, Martagert and Stepanagert. After finishing, team will have stadiums corresponding to international standards, added Narine Agabalian. This was all for today. Goodbye.